Science Help now here with a five-minute math lesson. Topic one is math. Section 1.2a is converting scientific notation to decimal numbers. Why do we need scientific notation? Well, in science there are often very big numbers and very small numbers. This very big number is the number of elementary charges that could be electrons in one coulomb. Look on the front page of your physics reference tables and find this number there. Look for that. All right. Now, would you rather write out all these zeros or would you rather write it this way, which is much quicker and easier? Let's convert this decimal number to this scientific notation. The decimal is over here. We're going to count the jumps until the decimal point has only one number in front of it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen jumps. That's why this number, correctly written in scientific notation, is 6.25 times 10 to the 18 jumps, or the 18th power. Take a moment and figure out which of these numbers are written in correct scientific notation. Circle the answers, there are three of them, that are written in correct scientific notation. Take a minute to do that. You can pause the video and then we'll go over the correct answers. So pause your video now. Okay, now we're back. Which ones are in correct scientific notation? Well, there's two numbers in front of this decimal, so this is not correct scientific notation. Uh, this one here, there are no numbers, right? The zero doesn't count. There are no numbers in front here, so this is not correct scientific notation. Uh, here, this is the number five, so the decimal is understood to be there. So there is only one number in front of the decimal. This is correct scientific notation. Here we have the number 309, so the decimal would, would be understood to be here. Well, I see three numbers in front of the decimal. That's no good. Here we have one number in front of the decimal. Good. One number in front of the decimal. Good. These three are in correct scientific notation. So how do we convert a number in scientific notation back to a decimal number? Well, first of all, if it's a positive exponent, that means it was a big decimal number. So you're going to have to move the decimal point to the right to make that number bigger. Let's do that now. We're going to jump eight places to the right. So 3.00, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps. Now the decimal is over there. We've made a bigger number. We put in all the zeros. All right, so now what number is this? All right, we've got one, two, three zeros, one, two, three zeros. This is 300 million. 300 million. You can get rid of all those jumps. The number is 300 million. On the other hand, when you have a negative exponent, that means that it was a small decimal number. So you're going to have to move the decimal to the left. All right, let's try that. This is 3.00 times 10 to the negative 5. We're going to go five jumps to the left. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you see what happens is if you put the decimal over here, if you move the decimal to the left, you are creating a small number. Look, point something. All right, if the decimal's over here, this number is going to be point something. It's going to be a small number. So when you see a negative exponent, move the decimal to the left because the number is a small number. Let's convert these numbers in scientific notation to decimal form. Here we go. 4.5 times 10 to the 0. Zero jumps. Don't move the decimal. The answer is 4.5. This is the number 4.5. Here. A negative exponent means we have to move the decimal to the left. We've got 2.080. We're going to move the decimal one, two places to the left. So the correct answer 
is 0 0.02080. If you want to put a zero in front, no big deal, doesn't matter. 6 times 10 to the second. All right, this is the number 6. It's understood that the decimal is right there. This is a positive exponent. You're going to move that exponent two places to the right. All right, 1, 2. All right, 1, 2. So this is the number 600. This is the number 600. There it is in decimal form. The number 600. What is this number? 2 times 10 to the 6th. 6 jumps to the right. The number 2, the decimal is understood to be right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so what we have there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. All right, so that number, that number is actually, oh, look at that, 2 million. Here, negative exponent. We're going to move to the, we're going to jump that decimal to the left. All right, 3.75, three jumps to the left from here, one, two, three. The number is 0 0.00375. Can't get rid of that. <laughs> All right, 9.80 times 10 to the negative 1, one jump to the left. Instead of 9.80, one jump to the left puts the decimal here now, 0 0.980. Okay, you can do a much neater job with your decimals. All right, here we go. 1.650 times 10 to the third, 1.650, three jumps to the right. It's a positive number, make it a bigger number by moving the decimal one, two, three places to the right. 1,650. 